It's now easier to see why this happened. A huge 30 metre gash has ruptured the underside of the Costa Concordia. But just what she struck and why the crew didn't see it are now being investigated. Passengers were on the first leg of a Mediterranean cruise when late last night there was a huge noise. Over 4,000 people were on board. There was panic as the vessel began to list. It was dark, people were screaming and children were crying everywhere. It was panic. It was very, very cold and we were very scared. We saw death in the face. The cruise ship was just off the tiny island of Giglio, off the Tuscany coast. Some passengers took the decision to leap off into the water. Others rushed to the life rafts in the scramble to get off. The deck was full of people, but they weren't being rescued. The crew was too slow at releasing the lifeboats. They weren't properly trained to use them. The Costa Concordia entered service in 2006 and usually cruises the Med in some style. It's a floating village that cost £370 million. But just how a ship with such sophisticated navigation systems could run aground so spectacularly is still unclear. Tom Parmenter, Sky News.